All right, I took out the uh, ROM out of the 8085 board that we've been looking at, and I created a uh, hex file and a, and a binary file. We can take a look at the uh, hex file here. Let's see. So we have a hex file, um, and it has a pretty short program in it. But uh, what do we do with a hex file? So I created a binary file, and then I thought, well, I can run it into a disassembler. And I did find a disassembler online. So let me show you that. It's called, um, oops, it's called DASMX. And it supports uh, lots of different uh, microprocessors. It's pretty nice. Um, 6502, 6800s, the 80s. And it, it does the uh, Intel uh, 8080, 8085 family. So I thought I'd give that a go. So I downloaded that and ran it. Um, and I came out with this file. There we go. So it creates an assembler. It so it disassembles it and tries to create an assembly file, an ASM file. And uh, it is uh, original, and uh, the uh, origin is at zero. The first instruction is a jump, so it jumps to 003F. So we go down there, 003F. Uh, the first instruction is to move um, 91 hex into the accumulator and then output that to address three. So we know right away that one of our output ports is at three. Here's another output to five. Here's another output to five. So I'm assuming that uh, if we remember the 8255 has four addresses associated with it. Um, so three, four, five. So this is probably talking to the 8255. Um, what else can we lean from this, uh, glean from this um, ASM file? Uh, there's some, something at address at uh, output 2. Uh, that may be the all part of the uh, 8255. Here it's looking like it's loading the stack pointer. And it's putting the stack pointer at 83E0. And here it's putting H and L set to 8000. So I'm assuming that RAM actually occupies 8,000 to 8,3FF. Uh, um, so, um, and there's a bunch of other stuff. And this is kind of like their, their actual program. Um, like here's a subroutine. We'll push the uh, uh, status, move one into A store that into address location 8308 and then uh, pop the uh, status again and do a return so here's a little program here's a big program they're doing a push h and l push b and c push d and e and they're a bunch of doing a bunch of stuff again they're 830c is something 8308 is something so they're doing a bunch of stuff and then when they get done with it uh, they do a pop, 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 and then jump. So you could probably go through this code and try to figure out what the what they're doing, but really what we want to know is um, where things live. So we know where RAM lives. We know where the 8255 80 lives. So we could actually use this board now. We could write our own program for it. We could uh, target this board and you know make a blinky program, things like that. Um, but um, yeah, uh, if you want to disassemble things, this seems like a good tool. And uh, if you want to try to reuse an old PC board and try to figure out where things live, uh, doing a disassembly of the existing code is is a great way to do that.